Tracy Wimmer with Consumers Energy is joining us again today. Tracy, we're going to talk about the reliability roadmap that you announced. Yes. What is it? Yeah, so it's the plan that we're putting forward for our long-term goals for how we're going to strengthen the grid to prepare for more extreme weather, which we know is coming. Sure. We've already seen a lot of it. Yeah. Uh, and we've got two really big and uh, pretty ambitious goals that we feel confident we can achieve. One is that no one will be without power for more than 24 hours. And the second is that no uh, no more than 100,000 people would have an outage at a time. So Those very, are big goals. They are big goals. <laughs> uh, but we've got a pr really strong map uh, to, to figure out how to achieve them. And we're going to be putting those things in process over the next several years. All right. What are your goals with that roadmap? Yeah. So like I said, one is the 24 hours. We yeah. don't want any customer to have uh, an outage for more than 24 hours. And two is that we don't want any more than 100,000 customers at a time. Right. And we're seeing with a lot of these extreme weather events, especially that they're impacting different areas and pretty significant numbers of outages. And also, obviously, that they're lasting for much longer than we think any customer should experience. Sure. Sure. Well, yeah. how do you execute that? I mean, there's such we've been surprised by I guess we shouldn't be that surprised anymore, but but still, when it happens, you always think it's going to happen to somebody else, but then it happens to you. And yeah, yep. So a lot of it has to do with uh, planning and forecasting, not just the weather kind, but also on our end, right? Yeah. So thinking about and looking at the models and the trends, and realistically, we know that things are going to continue to get worse. It's going to get hotter. We're going to see more weather events like ice storms or the tornadoes that we saw even. And yeah. so the reality is, we have to prepare for a grid that can withstand that. So whether it's uh, uh, investing in poles that uh, can withstand winds of up to 100 miles an hour mm. or installing more smart technology that can be better monitoring things. We're really ramping up our tree trimming system. Okay. Um, and of course, the undergrounding pilot that I've talked to you guys about before. So all of that taken together, a lot of it's about ramping all that up, expanding the work that we're doing, because like I said, we know that uh, weather's changing and we need a grid to match it. Real quickly, remind us of that underground plan. Yeah, so we have a pilot that we uh, put forward to the Michigan Public Service Commission, our regulators, and once they approve it, we're going to start burying lines. Uh, and we have some pretty significant goals of the lines we're going to bury every year, but first it starts with making sure we know the best places to do it and the, the most cost-effective way for our customers. And Consumers Energy serves how many customers in the state of Michigan? Uh, well, more than 6 million customers, but for our electric customers with this plan, it's just about 2 million. Wow. Wow. So yeah. big goals with this reliability roadmap coming and you know you got to set some goals to work towards them. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I wish you well. Consumersenergy.com. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you.